let's just kind of give you a quick overview. So here is the entrance to the establishment. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Okay. So um, standing here in the doorway is the big dwarf who, once they escorted Liv over to the table, went and stood right in the front and said something along the lines of, if any of you had got an idea to leave, you might want to change your minds. Something to that effect. Over here is the table where we can see Liv between these two individuals and then this guy is standing right here at the shoulder. Further up by the kitchen door is another one of the rough and rugged individuals. And over here in this far corner, we have Lilith disguised and hiding behind the table and Emlyn and Tolgar. And basically, this is a small antechamber with the stairs that lead up into the rooms above. Alrighty. So, right now, we are going to go down and across to where Liv currently sits, enjoying the company of these gentlemen. <laughs> Oh. All right. So yes, um, he tried to snatch the hood away, and you batted it off. The big guy in I plate mail had looked at you and said something along the lines of, "You know, why do you seem so reluctant to let us see your face?" Because I'm just not all that attractive. Do you want to see my face? And what Liv does is she bites the inside of her cheeks. Right. Blood begins to well. She takes her hand, she coughs, <coughs> Fiana. She looks down, brushes some of the blood off on her uh, side of her pants, pulls her hood up partially, and what you see now is her face has transformed into a half lizard creature, and that is her poison spray attack. Okay. She bites off the cantrip so it doesn't exactly come into full bloom. It's kind of like she's holding it back as much as she can. But the transformation of her face begins to show. Alrighty. <clears throat> Blood is on her lips. All right. And she looks at the man. All right. With that, he kind of jumps up from the chair, knocking the chair to the side. Um, you hear, as he leaps up, you hear the swords from the guy with the rapier being drawn behind you. And he pulls out the big two-handed sword and brings it around and kind of points it directly at you. He says, What sort of sorcery is this? Sorcery? This is a cursor, and this is the reason I'm in need of gold. And she lowers her hood. All right. Um, so you're taking the hood off? No, no, oh. no, lowering it back over her face. Okay, right. Um, I her am... back is to the people, so the only people that saw her are the people that are right in front of her. Well, there's nobody directly in front of you. The only person that was is this guy to the side. Okay. So, I mean, so. obviously you were looking at... I mean, if you're not looking at him when you talk to him, he's not going to have seen it. So I'm assuming okay. you wanted well, to see uh, that, Well, right? it's not so the everybody else in the whole tavern could see and be like, Hello, guys! Right, okay, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> All right. So, yes, um, he's pointing the sword at you. And he says... Um, curious, very curious. Go ahead and we're going to get you to make a dice roll. So, one second. Make sure I've got my, my pain set up here. <coughs> All right, so, um, go ahead and give me a persuasion check. Um, you're using, with, with the effects of the spell, uh, I will give you a plus two. Okay. Uh, I wanna look. <laughs> Alrighty, you got a, well, there we go. Oh no. Um, <laughs> that, was oh, that no. including the plus two? No, that's just, Eight. Okay, so you've got to add two to that, right? Yeah. So it's a nine. All right. So upon saying that, he says, 
this is rather, as I said, very, very curious. Um, would you mind awfully just uh, showing me your hands? My hands? Yes, your hands. <laughs> right, while this is happening, um, Tolgar, Emlyn, and Lilith, if you wish to do anything, just kind of, you know, signal me so I know you do. Because obviously you're all just standing there right now. Okay. So um, I'm not going to kind of break this moment unless one of you chooses to act, in which case just signal. All I'm going to just slowly just move towards Emlyn just so we could get in like really good whispering distance. All right, so you are basically just shuffling just over very here. Very shuffling every couple seconds. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, she coughs again. <laughs> yeah, and and blood is on spattered onto her hands, from where she bit her inside of her cheek. All right. He. Okay, so you're gonna put it on. So you got blood now on your hands. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's not very. Not something anybody really wouldn't touch or examine too much. I mean, it's blood. Right. Yeah. Um, so, and he, uh, once he asks you to show you show you the hands, what are you actually doing? I cast it. I cast it uh, again and tried to hold it in as a sneeze. My cantrip. So, right. the texture on my skin, kind of like Voldemort, how he has that. You know, he still looks humanish, but kind of texturized, scaly. Okay. Because um, it's not a transformation. It's kind no, of like it's, a it's, it's not a transformation. Like Basically, it back. all it does is I'm kind of like it's it. a facial thing, and then the vo the the venom comes out of your eyes, right? It's not going to like yeah, transform. It, you know, it's not going to be so. It's a well, cantrip, so it's not going to be um, It's going to be powerful right, to where it like goes all like, over your skin and looks all well, scaly and stuff. It'll be very subtle. DM's discretion. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm just saying it would be very subtle. It's not powerful magic. That's basically no, no, kind of like cancer. using one spell to get another spell effect, which right. is mm, a little iffy. Um, but thus far, we'll go with it. Okay, so um, he kind of looks at you and he says, Again, show me your hands. And she, she shows him her hands. Assassin Master, thank you for the follow, buddy. All right. He says, hold both hands out in front of you. Palms facing up, please. I don't really see the reason behind all this. I've oh, done what humor so me. Far. Just assume that humor there's you. a man with a sword to your throat, and you might want to do what he says. <laughs> As you wish. And she puts some of the blood on her palms. Okay. Right, he takes one step back and says, uh... Extend your arms, if you wouldn't mind. Full extension. Full extension? Yes, as if you're offering me something. Of course, I don't expect that you are. I don't know what you're asking for, sir. It does seem like an offer of some sort. Uh, call it a polite request. After right. all, we would like to be polite, wouldn't we? We wouldn't want this to become <laughs> unpleasant in any way. <coughs> of course. <coughs> she cast it again. Okay. More blood. Mm hmm She bites her cheeks. All right. <coughs> Maybe <coughs> you shouldn't get too close. <coughs> I don't think it's contagious, but... <coughs> this is all I hope for your sake it isn't. But, um... We are wasting a rather inordinate amount of time, so if you would, once as I said before, just humor me and extend your arms fully. She continues to cough, and she does... Okay. Um, make a perception check. <clears throat> yeah, my little perception thing just grayed um, out. Can okay. I whisper to Emlyn? Sure. Um, I'm just going to say, can you make uh, Lilith listen to you? Be a mind. <laughs> what do you want me to say? She's next to a window. Is she aware? Uh, no, she wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Emlyn, in all honesty, is going to say, I think you'd have to be daft to not see that you're near a window. <laughs> but there is one away. right. Just yeah, her back's kind of to there it. There is but... one right 
behind us in the other room, I suggest we use that to escape if we need to. Alrighty. Tell okay. her to come closer. Right. Um, Liv, you see kind of like the floor shadow to the side of you of the man behind you moving, his, like motioning with his rapier to like flick your hood off. Okay, I dodge. Uh, Let's see if I... Uh, in that case, it's going to be a dex check then. So basically, you're going to be doing dex versus grapple. Or, um, it's you know, bex, it, uh, it, like a dex-based... Go ahead. Yeah. It's a uh, dex or yeah. strength for grappling. Yep. yep. Dex, where are you? Dun, dun, dun. And he's not really grappling. It would be dex for him as well. Oh, oh. shit. Jeez. Oh. oh my god. A 21 versus <laughs> so a 4. Bad. Okay, you see it, but all too late as... Oh, what just happened there? Yeah, oh, a little robotic. Uh, little Mr. minor Mr. Roboto. Hopefully... <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, it's fine, it just... OBS, like, blipped for a second. Um, yeah, it's all good. It was minus. <laughs> they might have to refresh though, because yeah. I'm buying it. Yeah, I'll give it just a second. Oh, in that case, that dice roll did not count. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you wish. I mean, guidance, guys. I gotta cast guidance first. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think guidance would have made a difference on that roll, even if you got a four. You just gotta give it, you know. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Um, so you see it out of the corner of your eye, but he's so fast and dexterous with that rapier that by the time your hand comes up, the tip of the rapier is like on the hood and it's like, and it comes flying back. Uh, at that point, the guy kind of immediately takes a, almost a defensive step back as the hood flies off from your head. Okay. And he looks at you and he says, Yes. If only you hadn't have protested quite so much, Miss Olivia, is it? It's Vivian. Oh, yes. Um, I'm afraid I'm not convinced. And besides, Olivia, Vivian, very close. Possibly I misheard the name. It is entirely possible. I very much doubt that I've got the wrong person, though. I wouldn't know who you were looking for. All I wanted to do was remove the curse. Yes. As I said, um, if you hadn't have protested quite so much. But if you were... If you have nothing to hide, we can clear this up very quickly. Um, just accompany us to the guardhouse. We'll make sure that you are not who we think you might be, and then you'll be on your way. You didn't have to I be in the company of... Uh, a tall, red-headed fellow? A guy with None horns? A tall, red-headed fellow? No, a never. A huge, big, ginormous fellow that maybe likes to stand in doorways? And he kind of glances across and looks directly at Tolgar. <laughs> that <laughs> tall guy? <laughs> I've never seen... I, Where? No. <laughs> with that, he kind of smirks and he says, Sometimes the intricacies of people trying to escape my attentions is uh well never ceases to amaze me so let me get this straight your information said you would meet a lizard face girl no it said i would meet somebody that was capable of utilizing natural forms of magic lizard seems fairly natural to me natural forms of magic like lizard <laughs> Yes, um, you can scoff as much as you want, but um, we really have two choices. You can either come with us quietly. There is a bounty for you, dead or alive, if indeed you are the person. I really would hate to kill you and be wrong, but it's happened before, you know. <laughs> Emlyn, at this point, when the eyes went to them, because we were been, been paying, paying attention. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I, I mean, obviously, am... you're watching him. Um, but he didn't cut his eyes when he said the guy with the horns, but he did when he mentioned the huge, bulking guy. Well, Tolgar is my boyfriend, clearly. Right. So I'm just well, not only say, that, Tolgar is not exactly hard to miss, is he? <laughs> I'm going to nudge Tolgar and say, get out the window behind us. And then I'm going to awaken minds, Lilith, and say, 
if you didn't know, there's a window behind you. But it, <laughs> we are going out this way okay. behind us. As this happens, a girl walks down the steps from the <laughs> upper antechamber. She is wearing all jet black clothing. She has a fleck of red oh. hair in her face. On, on oh, her hair. Shit. Um, <laughs> and she steps down and kind of got glances across like with a, almost with a side squint. And then you hear her go, oh, shit. At which point, the guy with the basket case, he goes, um, Marcus, yes. And he sh points with the rapier. The second he does that, the girl turns and runs straight back up the stairs as fast as she can. You hear her screaming, sister, huh. we've been rumbled. Time to move. I will let him get him. Sorry, that's meta. <laughs> right? That's meta. Okay. Um, with uh, that, you see the, the ringleader, Marcus, he's like, ah, oh. You, with me, grab her if you can. Okay, at that point, he turns, knocking this girl clean out of her chair. He barges straight through and runs towards the, runs towards the steps. This guy goes with him. Liv's... <laughs> Like, so Liv yeah. basically, um, as he gets to the stairs, he screams really loudly to the guy at the door, the dwarf. He says, round the back, round the back. And he runs out the back door or runs out the front door. Okay, so now there is only the guy. Um, well, put yourself back because you've still got the guy with the rapier standing right next to you. Okay. <laughs> um, the guy with the rapier. <laughs> what interesting things that the guy with the rapier have. Does he have any markings um, on his rapier blade or any tunic uh, symbols or on his um, what interesting things are on him? Um, well, as you're kind of standing trying to, you know, you're glancing around, you're looking the rapiers, they're both very nice looking rapiers. They've got ornate basket hilts. No strange markings. Hilt. He is wearing like a well-fitted suit of leather, like tight leather pants. Um, as you're looking at him, basically, he just kind of, he's holding both swords and he's got them like crossed down between his legs. You know, well, obviously like I'm not the droid you're looking for. Go. Um, he just looks at you and he says, no, no, sit down, please. She, uh, she says, nope. <laughs> I'm not sitting down. I think I've tolerated this shit enough. Um, I have nothing to do with with whatever you think I have to do with. I am not who you think I am. Okay, he says, sorry, miss. And with that, he brings the basket hilt straight up across the side of your head, like, Shit. Um, hits you, um, it does, one slash R. It does five points of damage. Does five points of damage, yeah. okay. Um, so it was more like an it was more like an attempt to subdue you and knock you back to your knock you back to the seat rather than actually stab you or anything like that. Um, so obviously Tolgar, Emlyn, you saw that. Um, right. Actually, when the they started chasing the redhead, I took the opportunity to go into the other room and attempt to break the window right here. All right. Um, if that's a window. That's okay. a painting, but the window. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> but the window right is here? next is to it. Yeah, window? that's that's as good. Okay. All right. Um, how do you want to break it? Um, probably just with my the other end of my axe. Consider it broken. <laughs> All right. So. The window shatters. Um, you hear a lot of people kind of turn and glance in that direction. <laughs> um, uh, could you just open the fucking window <laughs> with a <the> hinge? <laughs> He does not know that. All right. At this point, the <laughs> one of the guys, the guys with the axe, has <laughs> continued to give chase. Um, this fellow has come running to join the chase for the stairs. Clearly, whoever these two women are, they're more important mm. to them to um, than you are at this point. Than the lizard face girl that they don't even remember the color of her hair. They, you know, they're chasing. So there's her only right there's only person. one down here then. One guy. Yes, the guy with the rapier. Right um, yeah, I mean, your hair is still purple, and they do remember the color. Um, anyway, this guy, he stops on the stairs. He glares directly at Liv, like lowering his eyes and just glares. And he says, I will see you later, my dear. Um, and you feel kind of strange, like somebody just glimpsed into your soul. It felt really weird, almost 
unnatural. Like, you just got the shudders for a second. With that, he smirks and turns, and you hear him say, This will be the end of you, Clacerans. The bounty has gotten beyond something that I can resist. And you hear the him carry on running. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, okay, so Tolgar, you've smashed open the window. Emlyn and Lilith, do you wish to do anything? Uh, Emlyn is gesturing for Lilith to come over. All he's, right. he's backing into the opening. I, I'm attempting the... to climb through. Oh, well, you're <laughs> through it. It's not hard for you to leap through the window. Okay. You're on the ground floor, so it's not a problem. Okay. <laughs> come on. Alrighty. Um, so oh, Lilith, you see Be you see Emlyn beckoning. Are you gonna do anything or stay put? What's the deal? I'm trying to decide if I'm gonna try to help her or if I'm gonna try <laughs> to run. Uh. You know what? I am going to roll a dice. And they are calling <laughs> for a vote. Oh um <laughs> Okay, they're calling for a vote of inspiration for Liv using Poison Spit Cantrip Yay. to change her appearance. Thank if you. you. <laughs> let's have a look here. If you guys want to vote yes or no. Oh, it is close. It is very close. <laughs> Give it a second here. It's neck and neck. Uh. This might be the thing that gets me out of trouble guys <laughs> <laughs> man it is th this has got the most votes on any vote of inspiration i've ever seen i think and it is it is so damn close out of bed, it's right? over 40 and it's tied <laughs> <laughs> yay ruby And Ruby Har, thank you for that kind donation. You know what? I'll go ahead and read that now while we're waiting on that. I'm going to give that a second because it may or may not be something that is necessary. Getting on almost two years of Harry Roll goodness hype. Oh, a new month. So top D. Harry Roll gasp. There you go. Top D. <laughs> You're the Thanks, top Ruby. D, my friend. No you doubt about Ruby. it. Thanks for being with us for two years. All righty. Looks like it's going to pass. Doc Wolf nice. Reaper. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for the yeah. follow. Magoros, thank you. Anon and Moose Lee, thank you as well. Rex5, thanks for hitting the subs resubscribe button. Give that person some loving. <laughs> hoot hoot. <laughs> Hopefully, you've got pants. <laughs> thanks, Rex. Take them off. <laughs> Take them off. All right, I'm going to give it 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. And it is a, it is incredibly close, but the vote does just pass. So congratulations. Oh. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Um, let's <laughs> see. Inspiration ladyball. Go ahead and give that to you. One second. Let me find your um, inspiration. Ding, 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 ding. There it is. There's your inspiration point. Yeah. <laughs> Thirty to nineteen has to pass by a complete has to, the vote the, the the vote has to pass by at least twenty percent. So um, that's enough. Yes. Um, by four percent it passed. There you go. Pretty big vote. All right. <laughs> so you do have an inspiration point at your disposal. So Emlyn, as you've you've beckoned to Lilith, Lilith, you are trying to decide: are you going to help <laughs> or are you going to flee? Okay, so one or you, two. You don't have I'm to decide now. To... You can spend rounds thinking, but I don't. Ha I don't want to be that guy. Um, <laughs> one or two. I'm gonna run, and three or four. I'm gonna help her. You're gonna roll. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you you suck putting up to a dice roll. What a oh cop out. God. What a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll just gonna... Okay, so Liv is looking in that direction. So she'll probably see Lilith like. Uh, <sighs> and flee towards the door. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, you know, you know what a bunch of assholes these guys are. They are self-serving dicks. I mean, there is no honor among thieves. 
I have this plenty is... of something to do, but I might need to use that later. This when we is get not Radavan. Yeah. This is not Kia. Actually, Kia would probably do this as well. It's not Racer. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Alrighty. Okay. So back over here. So he slaps you upside the head with the basket hilt, um, trying to knock you back into the chair. Okay. So um, what do you wish to do? Hold person. You want to cast hold person on so, it? Okay. Mm -hmm. So he has to make a wisdom check. Let yes, me try to does. scroll to where it was. But I think it's versus my DC of 13. Yes, it's your 13. <laughs> um, and he only has a plus one. So that's that's favorable for you. Here we go. All right. 18 plus what? 19. Unfortunately, okay, you cast the spell. You see him just for a second like... And he kind of like breaks out of it, and then he looks at you and he says, I tried to be nice, witch. Alrighty. Um, he still is not going to try to decimate you with the rapiers, but he is... Let's see. Let me copy that. Alrighty. One... Two. Okay. This time he comes around with the second rapier. So he, he's literally like... And he's still basket hilt hitting you. He's not actually stabbing you. Which... Seeing how fast and agile and accurate this guy is, you kind of feel like that's probably a really, really beneficial thing right now. Um, I'm running down and around to the entrance. Uh, I'm going to do the full amount. Hang on. So... Yeah, I'll just do the whole... I'll do both attacks on the same dice roll. And speed things up. Okay, a total of 12. Ouch. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alrighty. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, jeez. Yep, you're being pummeled to death by this guy. I am. <laughs> right, somewhere inside the tavern, like, coming from this direction... You hear a loud smash as more glass gets broken. <laughs> All right, is it her turn? It is, yes. Okay. All right, let's move this back time... up to live. What do you want to do? Okay, this time she does poison spray. Okay. So... All righty. Come for the roast up, stay for the pummeling. Damn straight. <laughs> yeah, well, let's do it. And for poison spray, it is a... Is that a con save? It is. It's always going to be... Uh, wisdom, isn't it? Hold on, hold on. Wait, uh, constitution saving throw, yes. Yeah, sorry. I thought so. Okay, so it's d20 plus 10. It's still against your DC of 13. Mm -hmm. All right. It's the fun of open dice rolls, guys. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> At a mere minor fraction, so he failed by one. Okay, Whoa. so what is your? T go ahead and tell chat the effects of your poison spray, so they know what's going on. Full lizard effect takes place. Poison sprays out of her eyeballs. It hits his um, aiming for his face. Right. Uh, hopefully, his face will begin to melt a little bit. <laughs> and if not, it's probably gonna one d twelve. sting a little. Wow. Poison damage. I got something in my eye. <laughs> you can't blind him, unfortunately. But no, you know. yeah, it doesn't cause blindness, but it still hurts. All right, <laughs> give him, give him, give him a spray. There you go. That's a Ooh. nice hit too. Okay, um, so he hits you twice with the basket rapiers. You kind of reel from the, you know, reel from the two blows, raising your head. As he's kind of raised slightly above you, it hits him straight full on in the face. As he kind of, not letting go of the rapiers, but brings both of his hands, like where the basket hilts are, over his eyes. Like, ah! Ah! And you see him start to, like, try to pour the stuff away from him. Okay. Is that good enough to make an action movement? It is. Okay. How far can she get? Um, 30? Your scale in here is... Hang on. Double check the scale. Ten feet square. We're squares. gonna be like that. Okay. Um. Those basket hilts before she. Uh. Ten feet. You said. Uh, well, basket... no. It's ten foot square, so you can basically do whatever your. Um... Thirty. Yeah. All right. Ooh, stop it. <laughs> so, is there anything else on those? Uh, 
pummels at all, like no gravings, just just. Uh... Uh, it's hard to see because he's kind of like got him covering his eyes right now. Uh, it's really up to you. Do you want to sit around and try to examine him, or you want to kind of get your ass out of there? I'm, I'm getting my ass out of there, but I just wanted to see it as much, much as I could. All right. Okay. Okay. Cool. All righty. Okay, so you've made it past them and towards the door. Towards the door. All righty. Um. I'm to following Tar Tolgar. Okay, so Tolgar, know. which okay. way around the tavern you said you're going towards the front door? Yeah. So oh, when funny. we got out the door, I probably dropped my disguise. I don't know if that stopped you guys would stop you guys from helping or like signaling me, but I was disguised at the time. Oh. Well, yeah, but they uh, knew you were sitting right there. <laughs> they saw you do it. Yeah. I mean, they're right right in front of you. So, I don't think that they would have Wait a second. One second Lilith was sitting there, and a second later, it's another person. She looks slightly different. <laughs> it would be a fair assumption for anybody that is not a complete dumbass to make that. You know. Yeah, but I was sitting in front of a window and didn't notice. So. Well, that's there, but you're the dumbass. They're not. Um, okay, so you're running around to the front of the building, so you're basically heading in this direction down here. Alrighty. Okay. Um, it'll take you guys about two about three rounds to get around to the front okay um so by now he is going to be here because he is running for that room okay Liv. Oh, over yeah, to no, you she's booking it out Deuces. all right <laughs> okay are you dashing or what are you doing dashing. i am totally sprinting yes. okay um, so, as you run out of the door, you can hear all the footsteps and yelling and screaming is coming to your left, over in this direction. You can hear, okay. STOP HER! STOP HER! Obviously, it's fairly faint, because it's a good ways away at this point, but, um, but that's where you can hear the yelling. Okay, um, I can't see anything, I just hear the yelling, and it's coming um, towards my direction? If you, left? no, it's coming, it's going away from you. Away from my direction, yeah. left. So basically, when you step out of the steps, the only thing you're really able to see is a dwarf disappearing in the distance around the corner of the drunken duck as he kind of vanishes out of sight beyond the edge of the building. So um, it seems to be that all of the commotion with the Clasaren sisters, if that's what they were saying, and these fellows, was <laughs> happening to oh my God. in the right-hand side of the tavern. I didn't gotcha. Know. Or your yeah, left hand just... side, it would be. Yeah, as soon as you said it with the red streak, I was like, son of a bitch. <laughs> Everybody got colored hair. You got colored hair. She got colored hair. Yep. She had colored hair before y'all. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She's like, I well, had back like day. that because she she faced a trauma, not because she wanted her hair to look cool. <laughs> All right. So, um, so which this, way do you so. where do you want to run? Later. You want to run um, straight out into the street, which would take you right into the middle of the town square, or do you want to kind of go the opposite way around the building to kind of run in the opposite direction from where they went? Uh, I'm gonna do the opposite way of the direction this way. Okay. Oops, hey, that was not what I meant to do. <laughs> hey, either way it works. <laughs> there. Okay. There. So move your full movement in that direction then. So that would be what sixty. Yeah. About to here-ish uh, somewhere. All right. Okay. Well, by the time you run in that direction, Tolgar, Emlyn, and Lilith run in the opposite direction. Let's go to the above Wait, area I thought map. we were running towards her. You are. Oh, okay, cool. She's running that way, you're running that way. So you're kind of running... <laughs> we're just going to, like, face plant. Yeah, yeah, and you're just going to knock good. each other unconscious, and that'll be the end of it. Good. <laughs> and I can right. to Tolgar, and Tolgar will just be like, what was that? Okay, so... like um, clothesliner. Um, oh, as we were running in that direction, I'm yelling to Emlyn, where, where are their horses to get out of here? You know this town. I, 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 do, I don't honestly know. Can you get us out of here? Okay. Oh, we all, we're, we're leaving, correct? I'm going to look at Lilith and Liv. Oh, one second. Oh, am I there yet? Uh, oh. Yeah, so Liv, yeah, you go running around the corner, and when you do so, um, you literally, as you run, you know, as you're about to run straight past, you see them coming down the... Um, down the car, like down the corridor, um, down past the the other side of the tavern. So you guys are, let's see. 
podcast. Okay, yeah, so out. here's Liv, and here's the other three as they come round. Um, other than, you know, the immediate attentions of some old fart in a grey, kind of a grey cl- um, robe and cloak who's watching you come running out of the door, obviously down here is where all the action took place as these guys are fleeing down back streets over here at this point. Okay. Uh, Liv wants to try to catch up with them as much as possible, and then she's going to throw Lilith her sack, and she's, uh, can I make an observation check? Other than the guy, old man, can he see us now that we've moved up? Uh, as you run out, he's just kind of like, turns to watch you. You know, I mean, you okay. come fleeing out of there, so you've got his attention, he's like, huh? So we see him? When and you see an old man just of, standing here in the streets. When we're out of view of people, I, I want to do something. So. Make sure. I think I've got the scale completely. So it makes to see the old man staring at us. What okay, are no, you looking right. at? Yeah, square is 30 <laughs> feet. Okay. So he just doesn't, doesn't really say anything. He's just looking. Um, you are aware, however, over here and here, there are a couple of town guards that also seem to have stopped and are looking oh. curiously in your direction. They haven't made any movements towards you at this point. They're just like... We need to assassin creed this shit. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> right? <laughs> Look, I, I don't know where there are horses, but I know where we can find some cover just so we could recollect and, you know, stay out of view. Speak? We go back to the house where I got my book. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do You're it. The I, tower? It's by the but but we can we can escape out of town another way. I don't know, but we need to get off the streets as soon as possible. And Talk obviously, normally, yeah. it's better than no plan. Let's go. Okay, you've noticed that slowly, not particularly aggressively, this guard appearing to be slightly curious is now moving in your direction. He's not running. He's just kind of walking. Assassin Creed okay. walks slowly. We don't. Guys. We don't need help. So. We're not walking quickly or anything. That's what you need them. Here we are, walking I'm away. La, yawn, la, 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 la. I'm going to yawn, and then, you know, maybe start whistling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you want to twiddle your thumbs as well? <laughs> Anyone have a yo-yo? Oh, I want. want to like, play with a yo-yo. And you know, <laughs> play with a yo-yo. <laughs> Why don't you turn around and scream at the top of your lungs? We're you not, we're not criminals checks. or anything. We didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> Nothing to see here. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay. Um, all right, yeah, so you we're... guys are all heading... So you're heading back in the direction of the slums, right? Pretty much. Okay, let me move you guys off of here only, onto the other map then. Only thing Amelin could think of at this point in time. Okay. Where does, what does Hoot see? I'm going to have him um, kind of trail behind us a little bit. Is that guard still following us? Um, he goes up to the edge of the tavern, but once he realizes that you've kind of disappeared through the buildings, he kind of shrugs his shoulders and turns around and wanders back. Bloodbender, that's awesome. I, that's great. All right. Let's see. This, we should have gave a reason for fleeing, like turning to the guards. There's a vampire in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, it's a vampire, <laughs> folks. Hold on. Right, let me move you guys over here. Oh, the map's so big. Lovely, <laughs> lovely maps. You're not where I just put you. You're where yeah, we're like map. here, right? Yeah, I'm yeah. just fixing to put you there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. There you go. Flip yourselves around. I can't believe this is the only one I forgot to populate. Okay, never mind. Um, imagine lots of peasants everywhere. Um, <laughs> and common folk around where you are. Okay. Gangway, asshole. Is it daytime or nighttime? Alright, so you guys... Um, It is... Let's see. You got here. You, rated the, you got here fairly early. You rated the book. It's kind of... After the shopping, it's kind of like late afternoon. Probably just getting to, just beginning to, the sun's starting to go down. You can just see it disappearing over the edge of the massive wall city. But that actually brings us to our first break. Conveniently and eclectically. So let's just stop right there. You guys are wading through the streets. Trying to get yourselves back to the, um, the hovel. That's where Emlyn's going. Yeah. It- we're walking at a normal pace, yeah. All right. Whistling. Very <coughs> tune. Do Barbie and Pirates Barbarians. of the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're all whistling <coughs> that tune from uh, Parent Trap. We're just. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so as we're walking, I'm going to, in a low voice, I'm going to say, 
look, my only thought is we go in there, we kill them, and we just lay low for a little bit. <laughs> and then he's going to say it so casually, like without a smirk, without a I'm joking. And I'm going to jump on top of a building. No, but she's going to turn so. around and <laughs> grab and say to live, keep and, up. <laughs> and grab a hold of Liv and kind of pull her along. She's like, don't get out of my sight. <laughs> Uh, as we're walking, I'm as Liv jumps up on them. a building, <laughs> yeah, really no, I, I can't like control these things. Even What's up, Mitch? Down. How you doing, buddy? Yeah, All right. I can um, get information from them about where to t buy or steal a horse and just get out. I, I can solve a horse problem. You want a horse? I have a horse. I can <laughs> I can I can solve a horse problem. So I'm gonna... Are you talking about yourself? Right. If so, three of us. Emily, if anybody I, calls me a horse to my face, no. What's a horse. <laughs> Never ridden a woman before. Oh. Go to the Garden of Eden. That's a special. Tr that's a, it costs extra though. <laughs> it costs extra to actually use the saddle. I'm just saying. Right. <laughs> and the bit and the bridle. Yeah. I say, of course I have. It was part of barbarian initiation. <laughs> <laughs> initiation. <laughs> Metamy wants to say there is a guy. <laughs> he can help us out the house. All right. Em em Emlyn's going to stop at this corner and just oh. kind of like look both ways. All right. Oh, because of the guard <laughs> tower? Because of the guard tower here? Okay, yep. well, you glance to the right and you can see the guard tower. Let's move it. We'll move it down so chat can see the guard tower here. Um, once again, you can see all the crossbow wielding guards kind of just standing there, glancing to the left and the right. It's almost like they're moving their heads because it's their job, but you are not convinced they're being <laughs> particularly vigilant. Um, then there's the little watchtower that stands 20 feet up on the roof, giving it like the 40-foot height clearance. And you can see the couple of guards up there. They're leaning up against the side and just chit-chatting. So okay. there's not a whole bunch of attention going on here. However, as you glance to the left, you see a guy who is wearing kind of a green, uh, like green tunic, he has a hood over his over his head, so you can still see his face. He's got like a very small, um, almost kind of mythmatic slash evil squeegee style mustache. As he <laughs> looks at you, <laughs> uh, he looks at you as you kind of glance and your eyes rest at him. He goes, raises his eyebrows or and turns and starts to walk slowly up against the side of this building away. Okay. <laughs> Did he really wiggle his eyebrows? Yeah, literally, he just looked straight at you. Like, when your eyes hit him, he went... And then um, turned around with a smirk and walked away. So I Turned his back on you, even. Emlyn's gonna, em King, Emlyn's gonna look at the Tolgar and say, he wiggled his brows at me. <laughs> Let me go. Flex your horns. Let me go oh, see. Uh, I'm gonna start walking towards the fellow. All right, he begins to pick <laughs> up pace as you start walking behind him. And I begin to pick up pace. All right, then he basically picks up more, basically more pace. <laughs> Carry um, are there any pace right now? <laughs> and he turns and goes around this side of the building. Oh, okay. <laughs> which was an, which was easily enough to fool Tolgar, who went the wrong way. <laughs> are there any guards around? If so, I'll tackle him. If um, so. If there aren't, I'll tackle him. Uh, well, it's like he's deliberately oh, no. keeping a good distance between you and him. Probably about a good okay. 20 feet. So if you're going to break oh. into a run, oh. mm. um, he'll basically do the same thing. I like Every time you've picked up pace, of, he keeps glancing him. behind him to make sure you're still following him. And then he picks up pace. Haven't we learned anything from approaching strangers? Yes, let's get out <laughs> yeah. of here. Danger, danger. Really right. Sorry, what were you saying with Hoots? What was Hoots doing? Uh, I'm going to... Um, have Hoots fly in front of the dude, so he's gonna scout to see if the man is leading us into a trap. Okay. Before you have a heart attack, giant owl attack. Poof. Um. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Hoots! Alright, there you That's go. better. Alright, so you want him where? You're kind of flying ahead in front of the guy so he can see what's going on. You've got control of Hoots now, right? Uh, yeah. There so you he's go. like. Okay. Like, Hoots, what do you see? Do you see him running us into a trap? Is there people around the corner going to kill us? Uh, Hoots says there's people everywhere. But then there is people <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> any, okay, so she can see through Hoots' eyes. Do, do, do I see any shysters? Like, you know, men and women in cloaks, like, you know, all uh, like ready to. 
Potentially, that's yes. Savvy. There's all that's manner of true. folks around here in all manner of dressing garb. Any one of them could be... I mean, there's not like a small group of them huddled around with hoods going... <laughs> but there are, <laughs> you know, there, there, there are a lot of people, several of them wearing hooded cloaks and stuff like that, that could be Skullduggerous. Um, of course, there could be completely anybody that is not dressed in a obviously menacing sort of way could easily be a menacing individual too. So uh, it's up to you. Liv, <laughs> why are we following this person? Let me turn around and say, let's not do that. Because he, he wiggled his eyebrows at you. Do you do that to I everybody just... who wiggles your eye- his eyebrows at you? <laughs> I thought he might be. Okay. Might. Once he, he realizes you haven't crossed the street, he stops. At the other what? side. Identify yourself. And then he kind of just shrugs his shoulders just a little bit, gets a little bit, kind of like a little bit hunched over and low, looks to the left, looks to the right, and then goes. What the? Well, I and then turns and continues to walk the way he was coming, very slowly. Wait, he's going back towards us? No, he's going away from you, but very slowly. Okay. Well, is there any way you can use your whip to like grab a hold of him? You want me to attack a man in the middle of the street? <laughs> I can more like grab a hold of him and say something With sexy. With your 50 foot whip. I would say something <laughs> sexy, right. Okay. Uh, I'm <laughs> honestly at a loss of what to do, but my original idea still stands. To go after the dude? Hide. Let's go hide. I don't like this guy. I don't understand. What did, who, who does this? He could Lilith. be a headhunter. Lilith? Yes. Yes, I believe. Yes. Okay. Move. If he All wants right. us that badly, then he'll follow after us. One at a time? Yeah. Come on, Hoots. All right, okay. <laughs> all right, you all, so you all continue heading back in that direction. Okay, let me move him out of here, because... No, I went to the wrong street. Because of reasons. <laughs> you went to the wrong house. I, I have, I'm zoomed in. Emlyn <laughs> breaks into the house, murders everyone, then goes, oh, crap, sorry. <laughs> it, was, it was the next door neighbors we meant to murder. <laughs> I don't remember this house having a microwave. Right. Okay. So you wander back down the strum, um, back down the slum streets through all the piss and shit and everything that's thrown wantonly in the streets um little steps or something oh oh god <laughs> <laughs> it's okay we, we don't know it's human um <laughs> so uh, okay so you're outside the familiar looking hovel you heard what i said while we were walking here right don't kill them you need information well you we can get information and then... thank you for the follow buddy maybe <laughs> I'll leave that to you, Tolgar. Uh, the Just know where will I be, stand. The cue will be me slamming my axe until their throat, okay? It's a good cue. And then I'm going to knock on the door for you. I... Are you going to do like a cop knock? Bam, bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, Instead of the door opening this time, the window to the left of the door, you see the shutter open just a fraction as a glimpse of light comes out. <laughs> Hi, we brought back the And then it quickly the closes again. Light. And you hear inside, Oh, God, they're back! <laughs> you so much money last time! <laughs> Are they doing anything else? Or they just... Nope, they shut the door and you All heard right. them say that, and then it's gone awfully quiet. Grab the knob and push it open to see. Uh, the door is locked. Just break it down, Tolgar. Is the window Channel open? Channel uh, your inner moral. No, the window is closed and the shutters on the inside are closed as well. Just, just offer oh, so them it, more gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's like, you know, you got your window and then shutters on the hey, inside. Avon calling. And then we, um, <laughs> we just came by to check on your wife. Hello, we're <laughs> murderers. Um, <laughs> just, okay. So you hey, can, is that what you're going to say that? You're going to tap on the door and say, we just come to check on your wife? Yes, we, yeah. we've caught, we're, we need to confiscate your house. <laughs> okay. Just, um, you know what, Liv's like, I, I'm concerned about your wife. I, I wanted to make sure she's still okay. Uh, there appears to be no voices, although you can hear what sounds to, you can hear something kind of going, <laughs> <laughs> being right. moved across the floor. 
If I hear God, that, I'm gonna that just... heavy ass bookcase. <laughs> <laughs> kick, kick at the door to try to open it. All right, uh, Togar, what is your passive strength check? Uh, my passive 14 strength or higher. check. Do you mean athletics? Easy. Sixteen. Yeah, 16. the um, the passive. Yep. Yeah. So it's sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, um, it's up to you. You can roll if you want to roll, or you can just do it. I'll just take it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So Tolgar just takes his big, heavy size twelves. The frail wooden door is no match for the the might of the foot of Tolgar as the door comes flying, almost flying off its hinges, and you hear a. <laughs> <laughs> and you see a guy basically fall to the ground God, where the door do swung open. Tor Togar okay. kicks down the door. Does he see any monsters? <laughs> Lilith is going right. to stick her head in the door and goes, I don't think you heard us. We were knocking. <laughs> One second. <laughs> Let's move you to the appropriate he room. He falls on the ground? Because if so, I'll lean in oh, my no. massive hand and just pick him up by the collar and stand him back up. We'll, we'll get you where you need to be. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, she is. Sorry about that. <laughs> Haggard now. Get rid of her. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Should, shouldn't that. have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that. Your your battle axe is an umbrella now, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wand. All right. I'm a little excited. It's okay. <laughs> okay. So when you kick the door open, uh, here we'll go ahead and open the damn door so that it's appropriate. <laughs> Okay. So basically, yes, this guy was moving a seemingly now lighter bookcase as if he was <laughs> going to put it over the door. He was pulling it. As soon as you swing the door, it, the door hits him and you see him kind of stumble and fall to the side right here. Tolgar, you of course are right in the doorway. Right. Okay. Um, as the door comes crashing in, his, from what you recall, sister is like, <laughs> As the door bursts in, knocking him to the ground. All right. All right. So Tolgar, in. okay. Tolgar strides in the room. Anyone else entering behind him, or are you? Anyone yep. sticking outside? Lilith, yeah, going yeah we're all just like stuff. Lydia, hey, do you have time to talk about our Lord and Savior, Saint Cuthbert? <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. I'm picking him Cuthbert up. Cuthbert waits yeah. for no man. Right. <laughs> I'm go. picking him up and putting him back on his feet. Go ahead. Okay. You know what? Because I'm a Perfectionist, I gotta fix this. It's annoying me. <laughs> uh, uh, Amlin is just peering out the door to see if anyone's looking in their direction. Um, <laughs> uh, there are several of... kind of commoners in the street that are kind of glancing in that direction, but none that are actually really paying that much attention. There's all sorty. Thanks for the follow, bud. Liv, get inside. I'm gonna try to close the door. Okay. Nope. All right. Um, you back up as you close that door. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Just to make you paranoid. Yeah. Of course. Yay! Paranoid, oh, I see that. Okay. Me. Holy crap. You close the door. <laughs> Can I do one too? Am I close enough? Um, uh, well, he was looking directly out of the door, and you're kind of looking into the room. Okay. So, um, and then he closed it. So, probably not at this point, but. You know. I'm going to start pushing the bookcase back to where it should be. Right. It is incredibly light now. Obviously, oh. what was in it, <laughs> it is up, now. Then. Yeah. He <laughs> just picks it up, throws it. <laughs> no, I'm walking it over very carefully and setting it back where it's supposed to go. Alrighty. You reposition <laughs> the bookcase. As he gets up off the. He kind of gets up, rubbing his back. Like, oh! 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 So, how's everybody doing? I don't remember that doing? door being as heavy as that. <laughs> Why was the bookcase in front of the door? What do you mean, why? Oh, uh, I heard strange noises outside. Thought it might be uh, burglars or something like that. You know, I was just trying to defend us. Yeah, that's, that's but, what it was, I'm sure. Yeah, just no. Uh, that, oh. With that, he kind of goes over and stands very, very close to his wife, like putting his arm through her arm, like grabbing hold of her. 
almost as a security thing, like, stay with me, love. Um, his wife is fine now? Are you? Oh, that his sister, well. sorry, the sister. Oh. Yeah, he oh, kind of well, looks at you, you and know. he says, um... Things just got weird. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. um, Over, what? What, what, what brings you back this way? We're just here to check out the wife. How's she go? How, you know, how, how are things? <laughs> oh, uh, she's fine. She's fine. She's, uh, down working at the docks. As it were. She's not having any more convulsions. No, no. Uh, whatever it was that you were, uh, whatever it was you did, um, whatever remedies you applied to her, I remember you, you laid your hands on her and said some soothing words, and within an hour after that, she was fine. Right as rain. Emlyn, Emlyn's going to kind of like hug his book and have the <laughs> part of it, top of it show. And he's going to be like, that's excellent news. <laughs> So where is Smirking. she? Uh, at the docks. Uh, working, working at, at the night. docks. Um, oh. would, would you uh, would you like something kind to eat? Uh, I just um, just made some fresh soup. Uh, fish head soup. It's it's delicious. Would you like some? Sure. Uh, we can I've have got it some fresh discuss. baked bread as well. It was baked only four days ago. <laughs> so if you're interested, uh, nice and fresh. We have uh, some questions. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Why, why don't you? Why don't you? Uh, why don't you go and uh, fetch us all a, a nice bowl of soup, lass? Oh, fair, fair enough. Then I'll, I'll be I'll back just a little you. bit. <laughs> I'll help you. Don't, don't worry. I'll help send you her off to work. Live. She's been like debilitated for. No, like, Liv's gonna watch her whatever she's doing so she doesn't poison okay. us. <laughs> um, all right. Well, she's kind of very nervously cluttering around with the dishes. Oh dear me, my nerves. Um, let's Don't see. Worry. Uh, for, I, I know the bowls are here somewhere, and uh, and she starts pulling out wooden bowls and wooden spoons. Gets a slightly larger bowl and herds some rolls off the counter straight into the bowl of you know, the big, the larger bowl, and then gets a, a wooden ladle and starts slapping rather sloppily soup into each of the little bowls. Um, I'd like to enter the room okay. and cross my arms and just stare at Liv <laughs> as she watches her. Yeah. Not now, Tolgar. I'll be back with you in a moment. <laughs> Alright, so in the other room, Tolgar, um, so, sorry, um, Emlyn and Lilith. So you've got the attention of the guy. One, his head keeps turning to look at the door and he's like, one ear is slightly cut, like he's trying to make sure his wife is okay as he's listening to what's going on in there. So you've only got half his attention. Is it his wife or his sister? A okay. uh, sister. Sorry, sister. That's my sister, bad. Sister wife. That depends on what Lilith says to him. It, this is his. As far as you know, this is his sister. <laughs> Based so on what he told your you. Wife? was bedridden for how long and she's immediately back at work the same day that she comes back to, like, uh, yeah uh, it was it was it was remarkable um as i said you know um weeks weeks and weeks ago she started out just saying she heard strange voices and then um after not too long as i said she just started getting strange and well eventually she ended up bedwitten holding her head like rocking herself like she couldn't get rid of the voices in her head. They kept, she kept saying they were telling her to, to do things. So she oh. sat up and said, "I feel better," and you were like, "Oh, well, you better go to work then." Well, no, no, not quite like that. I mean, you know, the uh, the girl with the purple hair, the one that wasn't really wearing that many clothes when she came last time. Um. Oh, anyway, yeah, she was. Um, my sister said that she she healed her. And it was magical healing, and it was obviously magical, because within an hour, she was right as rain. She said she'd you know, never felt better. No, no. Why aren't you working at the docks? Oh, well, her? unfortunately, my my back's rather sore. And uh, I used yeah. to work, but, uh, you know, she is a good few years younger than me, and, um, well, I've put it's my share of cart, <laughs> and cart pulling and, and barrel rolling and, and crate lifting in. <clears throat> but um, uh, would you like a seat? Uh, my sister will be out with that soup here in a moment. It's uh, well, it's very, very fresh. Why don't you sit down as well? Oh, thank you so much. My back is uh, yeah. rather so, especially yeah, yeah. after um, you were uh, unfortunately opened the door just a little harder than I would have liked and struck me and knocked me to the ground. But I understand. It's okay. The door is a bit rickety. Oh. Yeah. 
Emlyn, okay. Emlyn is gonna go to the window and just peek out and just look out. All right. Well, let's just gotta stand Directly there with arms across the street, her. leaning up against the wall with his arms crossed, is a guy with a hood and a green tunic. And as oh, you shit. look out the window, you see him go with a big <laughs> cheesy grin on his face. Emlyn, draw a smiley face or a sad face in the window. So, all right. Meanwhile, back in the <laughs> other room. So, um, Lil. Uh, sorry, Liv and Tolgar. So yes, the girl, she finishes making the bowls of soup and she hands both of you one. Uh, Some of it is pouring on. over the sides and dropping to the floor because she's shaking so much. Oh, I don't take one. My hands are still crossed. She, uh, right. Liv grabs both of them, puts them on the table. All right. How was your um, sister supposed to get back in with that bookcase uh, covering the door and why are you so nervous? We helped you before and you weren't this nervous. Well, um, yes, no, uh, uh, we're just not accustomed to such interesting visitors, that's all. Uh, you know, my, uh, my brother seemed to be a little bit, um, a little bit unfortunately apprehensive after you left before. Apprehensive? Did we not give you enough gold? Oh, no, no, the, the gold was very, very generous. Um, I think it was the fact that the fellow with the horn said that he'd broke into our house without us knowing at one point and hid things. You know, it's it's not the most trusting thing to hear when you hear somebody say that they broke into your house when you were away and who knows, it's, you know, you just kind of feel a little bit violated, that's all. I see. Well, that's we had a good reason for it and I, it was probably even before you guys were even moved in here, I would think. Oh, no, no, we've lived here for many, many years. It was, uh, we put two and two together. It was when we went and, uh, well, when him and his good lady wife, um, you know, his sister, or my sister, when she, uh, you know, that him and her, they went to visit relatives, and that was when they were away, and that seems to be when he broke in the house. Oh, well, it wasn't personal. Obviously, it was just to, um, relieve himself of an item or so. Well, yeah, sir. Uh, you'd have thought if he just wanted to do something like that, he could have dug a hole, wouldn't you? Instead of breaking yeah. into somebody's house. Still, never mind. No harm, no foul. That's what I always say. Right. So um, calm your nerves. Right, so she puts the other soup on the table and she goes, um, let's let's just let them know that the food's ready. Uh, if you'll excuse me, big fella. I will step out of the way slightly for her. Okay. Um, the door opens, and the supposed sister lady of the house says to you um the the soup's ready it's in here on the table best come get it before it gets cold loves so emlyn has after seeing the guy he's going to go over to lilith and the second the sister comes out he's going to say lilith take them in tolgar right come here please let's just crash okay. thanks for the follow take them uh, in verborgen thanks for the, the follow other. I'm going to be pointing in this room when I say it. I'm going to okay. take them into the, you know, in there. As I pass by Lilith, I'm going to just say, don't let her leave your sight. Referring to Liv. She, she's like, <laughs> going back over there. <laughs> All You're right. talking about Coming this one, right? You're coming with me. She grabs hold of the old uh, guy. Uh, as you go back in the room, Lilith, I'm sorry, Liv. You're immediately aware that she just opened the door and has walked into the bedroom. Okay, so, like, literally, knows. you come back into the kitchen as you see the door, her open the bedroom door and walk in. Okay. Uh, she rushes past or up towards it and tries to put her foot in it if she's trying to close it. Uh, she's not. She kind of pushes it too, but doesn't actually try to lock it or shut it. Okay. She's going to be as quiet as possible and watch her movements. Okay, you see her go over to the bedside table, open the drawer, reach inside, slip something out of the drawer. You can't see what it is because her back's to you, but you notice the way her hands move. Um, mm -hmm. And she slides something into her apron and then shuts the door, uh, pushes the drawer closed and then turns around to come back. Okay. Uh, is Lilith and the guy going into the dining room or? Uh, Lily, uh, the guy is not. He's still sitting in the chair, unless you're going to make him. Oh, I... Yeah, I am totally making him. Okay, so she opens the door and comes out, and she's like, Oh, uh, sorry, um, rather startled me there. Alright, so Lilith, so... So Lilith you're, what are you doing to make the man? 
What's your intention? I grab him out of his arm and I'm hauling him up. All right, he gets on, up with a. Oh kitchen. my back! Easy, yes, he has lass. Your back. All right. Uh, he doesn't really resist you in any way as you kind of frog march him into the room. Oh, roll twenty. Second, Be evil. There we go. They're out of the door. Okay. I'm, gonna shut, gonna... I'm actually going to shut the door behind us to give you guys more privacy. <laughs> okay, you there you go, out. right? Go to Emlyn and Tolgar. I don't know what you're doing. Like, it's none of my business. What am I doing? There we go. Holding down the wrong key. That's what I'm doing. All right. So, so Emlyn, Emlyn's, Emlyn's going to say, we need to kill these two and leave immediately out the back. There is a man, the man in the green, he knows we're here. I think he works <laughs> for the guys who are the bounty hunters. God, Emlyn, you're so paranoid. Really? We, we need to kill these guys. Yes, don't peek through the curtain. So wave at you. He knows we need to go. I, I'm going to peek through the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to peek through the curtain, Gore. Okay. Um, you can see the guy leaning up against the wall at the corner of the building on the opposite side. As he sees you, he just like... It's the man behind the okay. curtain. It's I'm going to... I'm going to look at him and just do this. You see him look to the left and look to the right. And then you see him just turn and begin to walk away down the side of the side street. Holgar. I'm going to turn to Emlyn and say, yeah, let's kill them. (laughs) (laughs) Bunch of bastards. Uh, I love it. Let's send them (laughs) one at a time and quietly. I'm going to open the door, and I'm going to say to the old man, uh, mine's coming here. We have a question for you. Oh, hang on a sec. As he <laughs> slurps some of the soup, he wipes the the remnants well, off of his scraggly beard, him, and he gets up out of the chair. <laughs> uh, he starts to stand as Lilith grabs him and pulls him, and it almost pulls him clean out of the chair. He stumbles to stay on his feet, but manages to do so, still complaining as he's, oh, my back. Don't worry, I'm, uh, something tells me your back's not going to be bothering you much longer. She, <laughs> she's just over toward Emlyn. All right. So okay, you, so... Bolt, so you basically push him th- back through the doorway. I give... I, I, Emlyn, as the doorway is swinging, Emlyn's giving Lilith this, like... He, he, he does, I don't know if you're going to know what I'm doing, but I'm doing this. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, so the with the closed. door... Lilith, once closes. you push him through the door, what are you doing? Um, are you closing the door, leaving the door open? What's the deal? Uh, I'm going to close the door. Yeah. Okay. All right. So now the old man is standing on the other side of the door with um, Emlyn here and Tolgar. And Lilith has made a pleasant mm-hmm. stride, sauntered across the room to the sister wife, if that's what you want to call her. <laughs> okay. So um, Liv says, what do you have in your pocket, dearie? And she actually grabs, um, tries to make a grab for whatever is in her apron pocket. Right. Instinctively, she kind of throws her hand down to stop you, but then realizing that that's probably a stupid move, she stops and allows you to get it. Uh, It has a small money purse. Okay, I open up the money purse. All right. Basically, it is the money that you gave them, plus about four copper. Why were you trying to hide this? And she tosses it back. Oh, well, uh... I just, well, you have to understand, it's it's very strange, you people, just showing up here again and acting so bizarre and the fellow with the horns and all. Oh, I don't know, I just had this feeling that we might not want to stay here much longer and thought that I might need to have the money on hand just in case, you know. Did she see any other bulges in her apron like that wasn't really what she pulled out? Um, not really. Okay. Of course, you can search her if you wish. (laughs) Can you please turn your apron inside out? I I hate to ask, but we've been betrayed before, so... Just your pockets. Uh, okay. And she reaches into her dress and kind of, like, pulls out her right pocket. She doesn't have one on the left side. I understand your confusion. We were actually just here to help. Just check on your, um, sister. Oh, but, no, no, she's fine. She's absolutely fine. You were... Uh, just see... 
seems really weird that she re recovers so quickly when I, I put my hands on her. Well, uh, you did say that you were going to try to heal her, and obviously your, your magical aids that you, you laid upon her were everything that she needed. My dear, what's your name? Oh, um, Sandra. Sandra, have you guys spoken to anybody else today? Um, well, I went down to, uh, I went downtown and went to the docks, picked up this, these fish heads and some potatoes, some carrots. I spoke to a few people, but nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Um, what about a gentleman in plate mail? Maybe some piercing blue eyes. You mean, like a knight? I wouldn't quite call him a knight. Don't see many knights around in Canduin, my love. No. Hmm. Heard tale of them. Would like to see one, but no, haven't seen anybody wearing that sort of thing. I see. All right, in the Liv other room. Lilith has kind of got to <laughs> look at Liv. <laughs> what is Tolgar and Emlyn doing? Uh, Emlyn is gonna is gonna place his hands oh on the guy's Junk shoulder. Junk farmer, thank you for resubscribing. Junk Thank you, man. The pants should already be off, but just in case. He's almost had his second baby. Yeah, right. Almost oh, congrats, 18 months. On number two. Almost 18 months. So hype. Okay. So yes. uh, Emlyn's putting his hand on the guy's shoulder. It's like, where will we find horses? Let's say if we wanted to leave you guys alone. Um, well, uh, to buy, you mean? Yes. Well, there's only one livestockist out in town. Well, where is it? Um, well, it's kind of, well, quite a way away from here. You want to go, well, you know, southwest. It's in a southwesterly direction. It's on Lampkin the Street. Lampkin South. Street. Aye, Lampkin Street. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say thank you. And then I'm going to, um... I'm going to say, say the Manu, and I'm casting Shock and Grasp. <laughs> and Smith, <laughs> just like right on him, it's his shoulder. Alrighty. Okay, with, with his impressive six hit points. Mm -hmm. So you lay your hands <laughs> upon him, and immediately... <laughs> As you literally kind of watch the guy's eyes, and smoke begins to pour up from the top of his head, and oh, wow. he's standing upright, right up until Emlyn lets go, and then at that point his body just slumps lifelessly to the ground. He didn't even have time to scream or yell. He was like asphyxiated by the, you know, the, the like, you know, if you get like a powerful electric shock, it's just like. <laughs> Emily, what are you doing? Um, well, you'd have to make an Not observation check to even hear that. Because no. okay. it wasn't very loud. Um, you would have, you probably would have heard something go, Phew. Zip. Okay. But what it was, you don't know. I'm uh, pulling the bookcase away again. <sighs> I'm Emily's going to reach down and loot the body, trying to take his gold back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you check him. the first bookcase with um, us. He doesn't have <laughs> any money on him at all. Okay. None. In fact, he has other than a other than a slightly dirty handkerchief. He doesn't have anything in his pockets. Is uh, such a gold guard. ring that slips on your finger and you vanish. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna make this hole bigger. His body will fit nicely. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm moving the bookcase away. All right. I'm going to... God, we're terrible people. <laughs> You're all going to hell. Let's go ahead and just uh, tag this dude. Pfft, there, dead. Uh, I'm going to grab his hand and try to, like, drag him. Because I'm so weak. I'm just going to, like, start motioning. Right. Uh, give me a strength check. He's not that heavy. Yeah, but, but I'm um, that weak. Yeah, so give me a strength check. Oh, God. He's so... Emlyn's so weak. 12 or higher, and you can slowly move this guy. Oh, okay. See, clearly Emlyn is so excited that he just right. murdered somebody in cold right. blood. He's actually got enough strength to start dragging the dude. So you yeah. pull him well, by his hands as you drag him seamlessly across the floor. I'm going to use my hands to rip up more wood tiles near the hole to make more room there. 
<laughs> Let me make that hole bigger. I can't <laughs> All right. In, in you, here. You, you smash enough. You, you yank enough of the floorboards up to where you think you can conveniently stuff a body. Um, there's one dividing board, like one of the support boards. You're fairly sure that you could stuff one one side and one the other. All right. Stuff them in. <laughs> All right. So really you guys nicely. Are gonna, so you guys bury, <laughs> bury him into the hole. Okay, he's in the hole. It's in the hole. It's in the hole. <laughs> and then I'm gonna move the bookcase back. <laughs> okay, so you you go ahead and slide the bookcase back in place. <laughs> the only problem now is the hole is a little bit bigger than the bookcase itself. It kind of sticks out from underneath. <laughs> oh God. <coughs> You're kind of looking at it and seeing the hole is kind of like broken out from underneath. It's like, background. Yeah. I'm going to look at I'm just going to eye Emlyn. Okay. That probably took you guys about four rounds. In the other room, actually, probably more like five rounds, almost a minute. Okay. So, Liv and Lilith, as you have Sandra backed up against the door. Oh, where were we at? Um. I'm, I'm sorry, yes. We were just here to check on your sister wife. Oh, no, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, my sister-in-law's absolutely fine. Absolutely. How long have you lived here, Sandra, with your brother? Oh, about two weeks. Two weeks? Yes, once she, once, um, once my sister-in-law become rather ill, you know, he sent for me. Other than being nervous, can I see, can I try to do a perception check on her? Um, for what purpose? To see if she's trying to hide anything else other than just being nervous, or... Um... So, kind of like a sense, like like you're trying to sense her motive, see what her... Yeah, but it's not really in 5e, so... But yeah. <laughs> ah, you, you can roll. Hi, um... Gotta get that too out of the way. <laughs> Basically, clearly she is very nervous, um, a little bit scared. Beyond that, it's hard to tell if it's put on or if it's genuine. She certainly has reason to possibly be nervous, especially if you knew what just happened in another room. Uh, <laughs> but, um, but yeah. <laughs> it just seems really odd that you would send your sister out out there to the dock sites to do manual labor after what she's been through. No, no, well, we it's insisted. Not... We told her. We said to her, you know, you need to rest, love. And she said, no, I haven't felt this great in forever. And I feel like I need to expel some energy. I've been laying here for weeks, she said. So we tried to talk her out of it, but before we realized it, she was like, no, I won't hear of it. And off she went. Very stubborn woman, my sister You didn't have a husband of your own? No, unfortunately, he passed away. When? Oh, about three summers ago. Mm -hmm. Had a terrible bout with the gout. <laughs> the gout's not what killed him. It was when he tried to climb up on a cart and he got a sudden fixation of pain in his left foot. Startled the horse and the horse kind of bolted. As he fell off, his arm got caught in the wagon wheel. It drug him along for about probably 50 <laughs> or 60 yards. And by the time they caught up with him, his neck was broke. Holy shit! <laughs> nice, Gore. Wow. <laughs> Very unfortunate Ooh. accident. <clears throat> Still, such is the way of the country life. <laughs> Sweet God. <laughs> yeah, so, like, well, like, enjoy your soup. <laughs> oh, uh, well, by, by all means, uh, finish up, finish up. Uh, it would be inhospitable to try to rush you out the door, but if you do have anything to go and do and you need to leave, I totally understand. Oh no, we have all the time in the world. I want to know more about you. How do you like living here? How do I like living here? Yeah, oh. Here with your brother and your sister-in-law. Oh, I don't like the city life, to be honest. I much prefer the countryside. Yeah. Even with its cart mortality rate. Hmm. This woman's fit seems so innocent. I hate this, you guys. I hate this. She seems pretty innocent to me, too. I, I, you know, she's just putting money in her pocket. Uh, I think she's okay. I mean, I, yeah. I see that you've had a very stressful day. Go ahead and sit at the table and uh, uh, 
but eat eat your soup. Well, uh, I'm not really that hungry, to be honest. Uh, my nerves, you know. But um, but as I said, uh, I don't mind sitting down and, uh, you know, sit down while you eat, if you like. Oh, have a seat. I'm sure that it, 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 you may not be hungry right now, but I'm sure that the warmth will, will calm you. Okay, well, she sits down and just kind of reaches up, grabs the spoon. You see her kind of put the spoon in the soup and just kind of stir it around a little bit. and But it doesn't really put any of it to her mouth. So Lilith is going to walk up behind the woman, take out her whip, and she's going to garrote her. She's going to choke her. <laughs> Lilith, what are you doing? All right. Um, okay. We can't risk it, Liz. Start out with this a grapple is, check. This is about the time Emlyn's going to walk through the door. <laughs> yeah, this is turning. What the hell is going on? <laughs> Why the night hell, guys? Oh, my God. All right. She has a seven. <laughs> <laughs> this poor lady. We're such horrible people. Okay, so my question is um, So basically, check, yeah, you're doing grapple D20 plus strength. Um, okay. But the thing is, I am using my whip. Right. And I do have um, you vile... an ability that makes it where I can use my dex instead of my strength. Yes, you do. Oh. Gotcha. So it basically would be a dex roll. Yep. <laughs> and you have proficiency <laughs> bonus with dex. Okay, yeah, that's either way is enough. Okay. So you wrap the you wrap the whip around her throat, and she immediately like <laughs> and starts to choke. Um, Emlyn, you open the door just in time to see Lilith kind of grabbing hold of this woman. The, the, it's even worse because the woman's sitting on the chair, you know, yeah. and you're like she's pulling. So as the chair starts to tilt back, you know, um, what do you want to do, Lilith? Looks like if you keep pulling, the chair is going to fall over. If I keep pulling, the chair's going yeah, to Yeah, it's fall like because you've, you've wrapped it around her neck and you start pulling, and she's leaning back, and the chair begins to lean back as well. Um, I'm going to step into it. Okay. All right. So, yeah, so you basically put your foot against, against the chair, pushing it bolt upright, which just exaggerates the throttling movement. And she's now like. <laughs> okay. Um, Emlyn, seeing this, do you wish to do anything? <laughs> uh, I am going to look. Uh, is this a back door? It is. I am going to walk right for it to open it. <laughs> okay. So you go around the table to the back door. All right. Um, Tolgar, you're staring at the fire by the looks of it. Um, no, I'm pulling the rug out. And dragging <laughs> pulling it over. the rug out from underneath them. I, okay. You're going to slide. The, you're going to put the rug over the hole, aren't you? Of course. I had a feeling that's what you were up to. <laughs> no. All right. Hold on. You stuff the rug beneath. Thank you. And really cover nicely. the hole I'm not nicely. Stuffing it. It's gonna okay. Be All right. So you're gonna nice once you get it under there, yeah. you're gonna kind of smooth it out, lay it nice and flat. Smooth it over. Yeah. You know, because yeah. it's common for to people to put rugs underneath furniture. Of course. <laughs> Love it. All right. Is this woman dead yet? <laughs> okay. Well, not yet. Um, you basically just started to strangle her. She won't instantly die. Not from strangulation. Um. <laughs> Emily, you took your turn and you went round to the door. Okay, Lilith. Uh, sorry, Liv. So seeing this, what do you want to do? Emily clearly doesn't give a shit. Um, and Lilith <laughs> is murdering the woman. <laughs> what are you doing? Stop. And she puts her hand on uh, Lilith's sh shoulder to try to make her stop doing it. Okay. <laughs> Lilith is going to, with her shoulder, to get Liv off of her. And she's going to say it has to be done. It's them or us. So you just gonna kind of like shrug her off her and carry on pulling? Kill her. She can still tell them we were here. Live back away now. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Whoa. What are you? I, what there are you is a man watching? outside. He knows we're in here. He followed us. We need to get out. They know we were here. We don't even They're know if he's with them. I am telling you a wild theory I've come up with that we are not safe here and we need to leave. So get out this damn door. Okay, the woman is beginning to start to go a little blue. <laughs> Wild theories? Second, uh, second grapple check. Really? <laughs> oh. Uh, what was that? Uh, she has a three. <laughs> second grapple check. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Lip falls to her knees and doesn't know what Anything to do. Anything short like of a she one. She shakes her head and she starts to tremble. I don't want to 
do this. Wow. Don't okay. make me do this. <laughs> You're not right. doing it. You're just leaving. With you me. continue to pull as hard as you possibly can. Um, you're beginning to feel her shoulders are becoming relaxed. Oh. And the restraint, like her fingers at one point were pulling really hard against the whip, but now they're beginning to lose strength. And slowly but surely they begin to slide down her chest oh. as she kind of just rolls back. As you can kind of see her go... <laughs> Oh. oh my god, stop it. Uh, <laughs> Alright, uh, another round of this and she's a done she's done for for sure. Uh, the last thing Emlyn's gonna say is <coughs> it's for the best anyway, she has no brother anymore. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna walk out the door. Brother <laughs> Brother, okay. husband, whatever. But the brother husband. going out the back door and looking around the back. Okay, so Emlyn goes out the back door. Um Tongar, you're in the doorway. Um, as you enter the door, you're just in time to see the last breath of life being okay. shaken from this poor woman. Poor Sandra, the widow, who only came all the way to Canduin to help her God, sick sister-in-law. The poor, poor woman is at the murderous hands of Lilith Edenwood. Oh my God, what a horrible okay. person. Did they turn their backs yet? Lesser restoration. No, I'm kidding. Yeah, no, um, um... Without saying anything, anything I'm going to walk in. And just start, just grab her body, um, loot it, take whatever it is it is. <laughs> okay, out, she's not even completely dead, and that's what's Jesus. hilarious. Okay, so you dragging start. Dragging body into the wait, living. Wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so well, basically, Tolgar kind of goes through her pockets as if he's looking for something. As you're still strangling her, and then suddenly he pulls her away. As he does so. Her neck is caught, obviously, with the, the noose around it. <laughs> Tolgar snatches the body, and you hear a, a, a rather sharp... Oh, well, I guess oh. we'll have to check her pulse now. Jesus. As she slumps <laughs> to the ground, She's and dead. Polgar begins to pull her towards the door. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, so says, do you know how much... Do you know how many experience this. points Sandra is worth? Do you? Do you? No. <laughs> Who's going to protest this? <laughs> okay. Okay. I can't believe what you guys you can did. Stop. That's horrible. Gonna... You don't even know what this, this All right, so guy what do you want to do? is even doing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys get over. Tolgar has dumped the body down by the side of the uh, of the, the old chest of drawers. Uh, and is beginning to move it. What do you want to say, Lilith? Lilith <laughs> well, is going to protest this. She's going to step between Tolgar and her. And she's going to say, wait. She's gonna lean <coughs> down. Have the honors. <laughs> Dear God, I killed this woman. All right, so she's gonna lean down, <laughs> and she's gonna sort of brush her hair back. Are her eyes open? Shit. How do Are her look? eyes open? <laughs> I need to know how she looks. Do you want to put some coins on her eyes? <laughs> or... <laughs> okay. So what are you doing? Say it once more. How does she look? Um, she looks asphyxiated and her neck is at a very strange <laughs> angle. There's also like a burn mark around her neck. <sighs> Twisted Fire, thanks for the follow. Also, Detendu, Poke, um, Pokemania, Sly Noble, thank you as well. I think I missed you guys. So, uh, Alright, so Lilith is going to rip a bit of the fabric that she has. Um, uh, a long strip and she's going to tie a ribbon around the woman's neck. Okay, so kind of like to cover up the the unsightly. Okay. Yeah, she's gonna lean down and she's gonna brush the hair kind of out of her eyes, and she's gonna kiss her on the forehead and say, "You can be with your husband now. I'm sorry." And then she's gonna stand up, back away from Tolgar, and go, "Do what you have to do. I'll be in the other room." Yes, ma'am. Liv says, "I can't take this anymore," <laughs> and she takes her clothes off and puts it in a pouch and says, "Here," and gives it to Lilith. Um, and then she transforms into a cat. All right. Cat. Meow. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> uh, that killed Move me. You out and. <laughs> that was almost sweet, considering she killed her. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Meow. 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 All right. I'll I'll put her in the hole and put everything back accordingly. All right. Let's smooth it out. Second. Ooh. And composed. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I don't think Emlyn lost a. I don't think Emlyn lost a breath of air over that. Um, 
All right. Look at, look at Shaggy. He's so happy. <laughs> I really am. Okay, so you move the rag, you, you take the uh you take the body you dump it in the hole, push it and wedge it down. Uh, are you then are you just covering it all back over? Yes. Alright. It's like Wayne Gacy style over here. <laughs> the hole. I love the idea of the hole. You horrible not horrible lie, man. people. I did not even think of that. I was just like, let's leave the body here. Alright. Okay. <laughs> Uh, once you have done that, um, Liv the cat is at the front door. <laughs> That's terrible. Sorry. Liv the cat is at the front door. Um, Emlyn has already exited out the back. Oh, we're, we're going that way. Yeah. I was about to turn to Tolgar, where's Liv? Cat. She's gonna, Lilith is going to turn and look at the cat and say, I'm sorry, Liv, come on. All right, what has Mr. Hoots She's been doing this entire time? Now. Mr. Hoos has been on top of the building watching vigilantly. I guess he would have probably okay. alerted Liv about the green dude. The guy with the green... Is he wearing green or green eyes? Uh, he has like a green tunic. but um, Green tunic. Yeah. Green tunic okay. and like a brown hood over, like covering his face. Green tunic, brown hood covering his face. Yep. Is there any like lumps like horns? Uh, not, that he, not that Hoots can tell. Are you all going out the back door? Is that uh, why I you're all hovering? So. I believe so. Yeah. yeah, does Hoot see anybody by the back door? Uh, um, he sees Emlyn. <laughs> <laughs> he I'm sees Emlyn by the back door. Okay, hold on a second. Liv Let's get says, you to that part of the street. Liv says, hold on the Hoot's shit on him. <laughs> All right. Lilith actually makes to, like, help, like, to pick Liv up to, like, carry her, but then she thinks better of it and thinks, no, nobody's going to want me to touch them right now, and she just leaves <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'm going to do one thing real quick here. Um... <laughs> right, babe? <laughs> Gout's some serious shit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you are some heartless bastards, that's for sure. About the gout. It's about time you finally showed your uh, true colors. <laughs> right. Um, Mr. Hoots. Um, suddenly alerts you to the fact that there is a group... <laughs> Of familiar individuals mm. coming down the street to the from the north. Okay, uh, Liv goes. Row, row. <laughs> and she she bats left. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> Do we understand Sweet that? Cat you gonna... <laughs> Do a check. <laughs> um, you understand what you understand. I mean that's an act, that's pointing. the cat basically you said it was pointing to the left. Yeah, yeah, wherever you just said. And so Which north? way? Which way? You said um, north. This, right? this way so. would be north, so that would be to your okay. left. Yes. Okay. From the direction you're facing. Okay. Oh, and you're the cat right now. So let me switch you Meow. out. Let me switch you out to cat form real quick. So the, yeah. the cat is telling us to either go north or there's something north. <laughs> Let's play charades. Okay. So yes, she yes, hits you're not him, that big, but um, hold on. And then she turns around and walks the opposite direction or a way that she thinks that they're not going to pursue. Okay. So Lil is just gonna that? quietly say, "I think she's telling us to go this way." Maybe what? the owl said something. The horse shop is to the southwest, so that is south. Yeah. All and right. she has Mr. Hoots uh, swarm around these guys and try to like lead them on this way, kind of corral you guys. All right. Fucking green guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, as you start walking down, where did you I go? <laughs> you you teleported through the wall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, as you go, start walking down. So before you get to where you guys are, uh, just slow uh, down okay. a second because I'm trying to explain. Yeah, you guys fast. are just moving at rocket speed. <laughs> we gotta um, get out of here. <laughs> one, it's, it's yeah. It's it's you've got a each one of these squares is each one of these squares is 30 feet so you guys are probably only just kind of leaving out the building anyway as you kind of turn and look down this way you can see standing down the bottom here so let me put you back to where you are when you kind of see him okay about here okay so as you turn and walk out you see this guy once more at the bottom and he he looks at you and he goes <laughs> and then he goes Love it. nods his head and steps in this direction 
a way <laughs> right down the side step building. up to Tolgar and be like, do you want to kill this guy too? <laughs> <laughs> Let's just hurry. Ignore him. Yeah, uh, Emlyn's just going to keep walking to the south. All right. My browser's what does, um, okay. Uh, she, said, she probably wouldn't smell anything. I'll say, did she smell anything? But forget it. She probably wouldn't. All right. Okay. Uh, who sees the dudes where? All right. Um, you can see basically they're coming yeah. down the street. They're one street over. Okay. And it's like they're making a direct beeline down this street, um, coming towards the house that you guys were just in. All right. What's so let's move um, one square at a time right now, so we know we don't kind of get ahead of ourselves. One round per okay. time. Okay. So you guys are moving to there. All right. Um, Hold on. Roll twenty. White it out. Oh, okay. Let me go ahead and fix that. <laughs> or just I'm walking with you. <laughs> Okay. Alrighty. All right. Is it gonna... Are you gonna... What <laughs> is wrong with you? Stop messing with my emotions! Should we take a second <laughs> break while she... Uh, actually, it? it is second break time, so let's do exactly that. Yes. Yeah. Perfect timing. Alright, so yeah, we'll take our second break real quick. Um, myself. So here you guys <laughs> are fun. down here, hustling down Sorry, from the south. Can we go to our next square now? Okay, yep. <laughs> um, so if that's what you're doing, um, and you're not stopping or anything like that, just keep on moving southwards. What does Hoot see southwards? All right, he Any. sees... Um, <laughs> he tells you... You're a huge cat. <laughs> um, basically, yeah, well, if I made it cat size on this map, you wouldn't see she it. You wouldn't be able to grab it, right. got it. Um, cat. So basically, um, Hoots is full of alarm. Koki, it's your fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's full of alarm. Well, oh, uh, he, you, he uh, ate some bells. With a familiar, you actually have to kind of stop, close your eyes, and choose to see through its eyes and all right. of that. You, otherwise, you can't. You can only get basic emotional stuff from it, and only at a hundred feet. And that his hoots is, you know, I mean, hoots is above here. I'm assuming he's staying close enough to you. But right That's now, true. you're just hauling ass. So all hoot, all right. you really gather from hoots is that. Something bad is occurring. He feels anxious. Oh, shit. Okay. All right. Um, I want to send him in front of us then. I mean, these guys are in back of us. They're probably going to... Do they look like they're about to investigate the uh, house that we were just in? Um, Hoots can't tell you that. Okay. So, let's keep Paul and ass. Um, Liv does stop for... By, she has she has movement speed of 40 so for 10 feet of movement she mm -hmm. is going to stop and look through his eyes alright, they are not stopping at the house and in fact you see the guy say they're still moving south, I can feel it shit okay <clears throat> alright so you guys keep moving in that direction so you are going to end up on the east docks. Let's move you to the east docks then. <gasps> Where's that right of van move when we need it? Right. Mm. The blades or whatever. All right. Um, live the cat. Live the cat. Does cat things like sleep twenty one <laughs> <laughs> hours a day? Okay. All right, you come, you kind of keep heading south. After a short period of time, you're no longer in the slums, and there is these huge, big kind of buildings in front of you. They look like massive warehouses. You can hear the sounds of the docks not too far ahead of you. Okay. <clears throat> um, keep heading south, I guess. Uh, or uh, What are we doing when we get there? Wait, wait, look. Do I see that horse over here? The um, there is a person <laughs> carrying a horse and cart. Yep. Carrying a horse. Carrying it. Like um, leading it, leading it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. He's not on it. He's leading like, it along. I'm gonna yeah. like get everyone's attention and say, "Look, horse." Yes. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> I know animals. <laughs> so hard as animals. Yes. <laughs> Identify horse skill, That's learn, probably. achievement, a lot. Okay. I'm gonna. Uh, Emlyn's gonna immediately start mm -hmm. moving that way. All right. Too. Okay. As you do so, um, you're kind of okay. so. If you imagine where the streets were above you, yeah, they were all kind of running down. 
So you kind of come out and you've walked across the street. You're, you're like now parallel. As you do so, you hear from like, you kind of looking up to the right, you can see the five men probably a hundred, maybe a hundred to 150 feet away from you. And then you hear the dwarf go, there's the bastards, get them. And suddenly you hear, they all break into a sprint. And he says, yep. remember, they're worth considerably more alive. I yeah. am booking it. I am running through that fucking horse. Me too. Okay. Yeah, me too. Me too. Me horse. Too. Um, okay. So is that uh, 30 feet, right? I mean, so we could probably go double distance, right? And we're running. 60 feet, yeah. yeah. 80 uh, yep. feet go 80. Yeah. Kitty, Kitty cat, cat. Kitty cat. Hold on. I need to acquire something. Back, yeah. My wallet. Right. My wallet. <laughs> Ouch. It's like like, to your oh man, call. they're totally gonna kill this guy too, aren't they? <laughs> um, I'm charging right out the guy that's okay. the horse. Hold on then. Jumps on top of the uh, back here. Alrighty. I am clambering into the cart as well. Is that a cart or what is it? I mean, it is it basically it is a cart. Yes. Dead bodies. It is a cart. What's, what's in the cart? Absolutely uh, nothing. Lilith. It is empty. <laughs> okay, so as you charge towards the cart, um, as soon as you kind of get close to the guy, he, he kind of like stops the cart and looks rather alert like, and kind of like watching you literally as you charge headfirst towards him. Um, he's an average built man, probably his mid to late 30s. Okay. <laughs> he like walks on the beach and daiquiris. You're muted, Jane, if you're speaking. Oh, sorry. My goal is to <laughs> slam him and just push him out of the way. All right, so you literally are gonna you're gonna bull rush the guy. Yeah, I'm bull rushing him. When I get onto the cart, I'm gonna cast disguise self. Okay, uh, make a strength check. Sure. We need a gift for that charge. <laughs> oh, there it is! There it is! Unreal! Damn. There it is! Natural twenty. <laughs> Bloody Tolgar! Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd like to thank my mother for um, always believing in me and all the haters for making this possible. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, another oh. twenty. So, if you were one of those that bet on Jane Ivana, well, at Everybody least right there, Hulk Black Raven, Raven Clandestine, MC, Magic, Son of Jux, or Zomb Warrior, you all got cash. Thanks, guys, for believing in me. Alrighty. Okay. Um, so you basically slam into this guy full bore, full speed. Um, yes. Roll a d4 plus your strength. <laughs> d4 plus my strength? Yep. I accidentally kills the guy. It's seven. It's seven. D4 oh, plus no, that's you, you have to roll it, out. yeah. Oh, it's a seven. <laughs> All right. Basically, Tolgar charges at you know he's running full speed at the guy. Uh, what is your dexterity? My dexterity is Plus eighteen. Four Plus four. All right. So Tolgar accelerates incredibly quickly as well. Um, so he slams into this guy, um, kind of shoulder first. The guy literally goes flying back, clear off the floor. As Tolgar, like, Hugh! it's kind of like a, you know, a linebacker hitting one of the smallest running backs you've ever seen at full speed. The guy flies up in the air as he kind of goes hurling backwards, comes crashing down on the ground. You hear a loud, Hugh! as he hits the ground and rolls like five or six times. He comes to a slump on the ground. He isn't moving. Okay, great. Rub some dirt in it. <laughs> at All that right. point, I'm going to jump on the horse. Okay, so you guys are all in the back. Tolgar leaps on the horse. The guy is deceased, so uh, he's actually attached to it. So um, don't worry about that. He's deceased? <laughs> oh my god. Right I kid. didn't mean to kill the guy. Unfortunately, Tolgar, you're a little stronger than you really desire to be sometimes. Jesus. Um, okay. I, I just he might not be dead. He may just be asleep. Who knows? He could be unconscious, asleep. Who knows what happens? Okay, you it jump on the horse. As you do so, um, you can see... From the next street over, a familiar-looking green guy who's looking straight at straight straight at you, and he's like, you kind of just see him do this. He's like, and then he glances to the left and glances to the right, and you see him like, snap his fingers. 
With okay. that, the horde of unpleasant individuals comes running uh. out from around the corner in front of you. Hold on. I'm going to put them on the map for you real quick. What the fuck? Uh. This is terrible. Spider pig. <laughs> spider pig. <laughs> uh, whatever a spider pig does. Can he sweep from a web? No, he can't. He's a pig. Look out! He's spider <laughs> pig. Sorry. Um. Oh, great. I didn't even get them all. There they are. Okay. Move, damn you! Alright, so yes, they all come charging out from around the corner. Let's okay. move. Let's zoom in a little bit so people can see what's going on here. Now we've got closer. Um, there we go. That's as good as we need to get. Okay. So, yes, um, you see all of them come charging out from the side of the streets as they see you all kind of loading up. Of course, they're still, you know, good 90, almost 100 feet between you and them. Um, as that happens, you see four or five kids suddenly come running out of the side street and start, like, getting in the way of the pursuers. One Aww. of them's like, Oh, mister, let me see your sword. Come, mister. Oh, look oh, at that crossbow. God. Isn't that awesome? Oh, my God. Oh, look at that. Why? How long did it take you to grow that beard? Um, and basically, they start getting in the way. Uh, initially, the guy with the with the basket hilts is like, uh, Get away. Go on, move. Move. The guy with the beard looks down. He's like, <sighs> The dwarf, like, grabs hold of one of the kids and picks him up. And he's like, Get out of here, you damn urchin. The guy with the sword glances around immediately like he's looking for somebody and he kind of squints his eyes directly at you and with that he kind of just once again kind of glares in a straight line and stops moving as the kids are kind of pawing at him he's just kind of pushing at him like not really none of them are moving they're just like he's just fixated on you at this point what do you guys want to do um I'm going to be busy trying to turn the horse and cart around and say, Emlyn, get us out of here. Which way? Opposite. <laughs> oh my god. I thought you'd been here. Yeah, the I other know. way. Horse. Opposite. <laughs> Thankfully. This is where you live, sir. Horse riding tribe, so I should be able to know how to do this, right? <laughs> yes, you <laughs> should know what opposite means. That's right. <laughs> All right, and I start. Okay, so you the spin the cart around. Possible. Okay. Yes. Um, with that. Um, you can hear, you know, way, way back as the kids are yelling, you finally hear one of the kids go, Oh! Uh-uh. <laughs> and you kind of glance down and see the big guy in the plate mill has just, like, put his foot against one of them and just k pushed him flying, like a good shove with his foot. And then they, the other is at that point, he's like, Enough! And they, like, start shaking the kids away, and they start moving, again, not running, slowly, kind of, with a, with a prompt hefty walk but no run in their footsteps as they continue to kind of move down after you guys in in your direction he said um everyone let's see you're how far um give me a perception check it won't be that hard 12 or higher any of you that have got a passive of 12 or higher you pass okay i pass all right perception uh, yeah. i need to roll god damn it i've got a 13 so I'm <coughs> yeah i don't see shit Liz right. can't communicate. I mean, uh, perception. No, but she still may be aware. She can hear, right? And understand. She just can't speak. I can't speak. Yeah. I can pantomime with her paws. <laughs> All right. So, um, told. So, Emlyn is the only one that passed. No, I, I failed. Passed. I'm the only. Oh, okay. I have, I have a thirteen pass. Oh, okay. So you got. You guys have already passed because the passive. Okay. Right, you, you hear him as you start, even over the crowd, because it's pretty loud out here. Um, you basically hear him say, It doesn't matter where they go, she's marked. Ooh. And at that point, oh, no. you, you kind of, you, you, you hear him um, kind of say, Don't waste your energy, they can't get far. Uh, make sure you notify know somebody at the front gates. Already done. Excellent. Great. Now you're going to make us kill people at the front gate. Good job. <laughs> <asshole>. <laughs> uh, 
Why do you make me do these things, huh? Why do you make me do this to you? <laughs> okay. Um, all right. With that, um, this is all kind of just heard. We're going to make a dice roll. Um, so who is on the back of the car? Tolgar, you're on the front, right? Um, Liv, yeah. you're too small. So it's going to be either Emlyn or Lilith. So uh -oh. we're going to make a random roll. Oh, God. And we're going to have to use a d4 because otherwise it won't actually roll. So on a one or a two, it is Emlyn, whatever happens. And on a three or four, it is Lilith, whatever happens. A two. Yay! What happened? <laughs> well, okay, give me just a second. And I will tell you. Oh, shit. Let's double check this. I love the idea that we might be like dragging this poor guy. I know we're not, but I, I know. Well, it's like, didn't one of the reins like get around his neck and we're just dragging this poor guy? But no, he's on the ground and out cold. Hmm. He's either dead or unconscious, one of the other. Would any of you like to get off and check? <laughs> no, thanks. I want to make a heel check to see if he's alive. Just cut him loose. Okay, there it is. Plus eight. Okay. 21. Okay. Um, as the car <laughs> trundles away, Emlyn, you suddenly feel like sharp ah! in your left shoulder. Uh, apparently. Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. Ouch. <laughs> right. Phew! As you feel kind of like a sharp sting. Um, nothing actually sticks in, but you feel like a, a, a real kind of sharp, lucid pain on your left shoulder. Um, Tolgar, you're kind of aware of what appears to be a small piece of wood go flying off and bounces against the side of this warehouse here. What the hell? A small piece of wood? Yep. Just very quickly, Wait. you're just aware of something out of your peripheral go and bounce, ground, bounce down to the ground. Okay, uh, hearing Emlyn cry out, uh, I suppose I would against, even though it's kind of noisy. You'd hear it. I mean, I, I'm clutching my, you know. Yeah, I mean, it was... Okay. It was... Lilith is going to spin around and be like, Emlyn, what's wrong? Uh, I don't know. Arrow? Is it bleeding? What's going on? Okay, I'm going to look at his shoulder. I'm as... ignoring it and trying to just go as fast as possible. To see if I can tell what it was that hit him. All right. Um. Give us a. Do you have? Um, do you have proficiency? Let's see. You don't have a healing kit or anything like that, do you? Right. So you're no, just going to be making just, a medicine disgust. check then. Straight medicine check. Meow. Meow. Ew. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ew. Yeah, you roll what you roll, man. Fourteen. Okay. Um. You're not 100% sure, but by the the way it kind of tore at the, you know, tore at the corner of his robe and the kind of the way the groove is kind of dug up and at an upwards angle as it kind of ricocheted off the bone, clearly it was some kind of arrow or bolt or something that hit him. Somebody shot at you. Well, they obviously hit. <laughs> oh, I How do you feel, Emlyn? Do you feel okay? How do I feel? Do I have to roll constitution? <laughs> I didn't say you needed to roll constitution. I just asked you how you felt. That's all. Just, I feel just, in that's pain, all. man. Just how you felt, man. Uh, I'm just in, I just have concern for you. That's all. I'm, I'm just going to like slump down into the cart as much <laughs> as possible. I like, kind of curl up into the I'm going to kind of lean up. And then curls into the fetal position and just rocks just backwards and forwards and says, <laughs> it's, Okay, it's, sorry. Say that again, mood, Lilith. Right? We didn't hear you. Are you bleeding? Is he bleeding, or is there anything stuck in the wound? Uh, there's nothing stuck in the wound. It's really more of a gash than anything else. Okay. It didn't I'm do enough damage to impale him. Oh, well, as he's, like, lowering himself down in there, then I'm going to rip another piece of fabric off of my clothing <laughs> and try to compress it a little bit. All right. Okay, you jab it. You just kind of press it down into the wound. It stings a little bit, Emlyn, and quite honestly, you're not entirely sure whether that helps or not, but... What do you care? You're laying like in a fetal position in a car. Okay. <laughs> I just want to stay as hidden as possible. All right, Tolgar. Um, so, how are you driving the car? Are you like 
full bore charging through the streets with ill regard for the people that are walking around or are you trying to yes okay i figured that might be the case knowing you of course all right <laughs> okay um so you literally are tearing through the streets people are having to leap out of the way to avoid being um oh what happened there what is why did Liv go under the cart? Here, let me move her up. <laughs> it's that, that, like, bye. that the under the cart <laughs> curse. She's like, screw you guys. See, yeah. what did you learn? Oh, if you, if you get too close to carts, what would we say about cart mortality rates? It happens. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Clearly, they're on foot. They're not even running. They're not even trying to catch up with you. As you kind of glance over your shoulder, you just see them continue to walk in quite slowly in your direction. Without, okay, well, probably within another 30 or 40 seconds, they're not even visible. Okay. All right, can let we, me move Can you. we get out of the city, please? Um, As we yeah, stay towards, away from horses and carts if you have gout. Yeah. I'm headed towards Damn straight, the wall, it's and I'm going to gallop alongside the wall till we find a gate out. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. That's my plan, anyway. Where <laughs> Until are you? something ruins it. There it is. <laughs> Until something ruins it. Until <laughs> you ruin it, Jay Nirvana. Um, oh, does that hut sell cotton candy? Because if they do, I'm no. switching. The cart, full cart. <laughs> Quick cotton candy break, guys. Wait, it's wait, like no, a little no. Montage of Back to human oh, cotton cat. candy. I'm just not gonna put the cat on right now, cause <laughs> it would be too small to see anyway. See, being a cat saved your ass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's move you guys onto here. Red Theft Equine. Savages. Savages. <laughs> bloody. Get, Talgar, get out from underneath the horse and cart. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there you go. All right. All right, so as you bolt through, you realize you're fixing to run straight into what appears to be a bustling marketplace full of stalls and stuff like that. Um, there is a tavern immediately to your right. Um, would you like to see the sign? Just so you know what it is you're looking at. Sure. sure. Of course. She took the, the time to bring it up at all. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're running straight past it, so whether you go into it or not, you're going to see it. Alrighty, and there it is. Love it. Oh, that's so good. Okay, so there is the drunken <laughs> rat. Out. Potentially sister tavern to the drunken duck? Who knows? Um, but yes. Okay, the people outside seem to be a very different clientele, however, because you can see people go <laughs> heaving into the streets. People laying, holding bottles of rum, leaning up against it, most of which have a very kind of nautical dress on. Um, looks like this is a great place that Emling could do favors for sailors. Um, or, or Lilith, or Lilith could, because, you know, that's her profession, just saying. All right, um, so you see that. Um, as I said, you're about to run straight into the marketplace. Doesn't look like the market was ever intended to support horses or vehicles by the number of people here. Here's the question. <laughs> is there enough room to get through here and go around it? Um, there is. Or if so, you could blast I probably... right. You could kind of veer heavy to the left and blast yeah. uh, and try to cut through and not That's go what through I the would market. Attempt to do. All right. To, to save their marketplace. <laughs> she <laughs> saves a market, but she doesn't mind murdering an innocent woman. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So there you go. You blast Bye. through. <laughs> Yes, you can hear all the people screaming, Get your fresh vegetables! Fresh fish! Fresh cotton candy! No. Yeah. <laughs> Free bags of awesome, delicious Swiss chocolate! Uh, no. <laughs> and then I stop the cart and say, Two Baconators, please. <laughs> Two Baconators, right? Wendy's. Okay. Um, so, once you get here, are you kind of going parallel, or are you going to try to go directly north? Okay, so you're heading in that direction. Gotcha. We're just gonna keep. I mean, to put ourselves back on the guard. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. Yep. Just moving you along. And, uh, as we're moving, I'm 
I'm asking if anyone has long-range weapons just in case we need to shoot from the cart. Okay. Um, as you do so, to your left, you suddenly hear a... What the bloody hell? Stop there! Oh Stop that cart! Um, there is a group of about Shit. six guards that was like just about entering the... You know, they're right over here and you literally have kind of run right up to where they are. Oh, great. You go, Stop! Okay. I'm going to wave as we gallop by. <laughs> All right. Um, with that, you see him go... <sighs> three of them point crossbows and begin to aim as you start riding directly oh, by. Shit. Oh, shit. Lilith's getting down. All right. I'm in is the too. cart. <laughs> yep. I'm going to lean into the horse, so I'm just kind of crouched a little bit. Oh, yeah, my yeah. God. Oh, Ooh. <laughs> Ouch. Good. Oh, man. Don't kill the horse, it's Bill 2.0! Oh, it's Bill 3.0. <gasps> oh. Yes. oh, what was that? And... Uh. Okay, so one, you hear it a... <laughs> oh, oh, my! As the crossbow basically misfired. <laughs> the other two, um, you see the bolts go thumping into the front flank of the horse. <laughs> oh, no! All right, um, the horse is going to take some damage. Um, oh, no. Let's see. <laughs> oh, shit. Might need to live to be a horse. <laughs> <laughs> Liv doesn't want to be a giant target right now. <laughs> Eleven points oh. of damage. It's hard to be a giant target, even in cat form. <laughs> no, the cat's smushed to the bottom of the cart right now because Lilith just kind of hooked it. <laughs> right. Let's see here. We brought it down under her. My boobs oh, will protect. No. Uh, all right, the horse is still alive, but it is obviously very badly wounded as it kind of <laughs> rears up and is a, kind of like up, up against the side of the car. The, the, the cart jolts backwards. Um, you guys are kind of almost rolled, not too bad, but you kind of jolted a little bit to the back. Tolgar, on the other hand, um, you are going to have to make a check for me. To maintain okay. control of this damn thing. I already um, rolled my 20. Roll a 1. <laughs> Alright, well, give me an animal handling roll. And the difficulty is going to be pretty high. It's going to be a 21. Shit. Alright. Um, Alright. <laughs> Ah. All right. Oh, Talgar, so Talgar does his best to try to hold the horse at bay. Um, the problem is you're still trying to go forward, and the horse doesn't want to. So it's like fighting you every step of the way. Um, so you guys are about here by now. Um, All right, so the horse is beginning to slow down. It's kind of rearing up its front. It's still moving forward, but it's kind of doing so in violent, jerking movements. Okay. All right. What do you wish to do? Um, your, you, you, you know, your speed on the horse has moved down to an, a verb, you know, a virtual crawl. Um, the four guards, or sorry, three guards that did not have crossbows are running towards you. And the other three are in the process of reloading. Well, the other two, one of them is kind of holding up his crossbow, looking at the string, going, what a piece of crap. <laughs> <sighs> oh, what happened to her video? Oh, we lost, uh, she, we lost her. Yeah, she, oh. she disappeared. Oh, oh spooks. Oh, okay, hold on a second then. Yep. Uh, I don't know why Amanda died. Because <laughs> we killed her. <laughs> because you're all violent. You know what, though? That actually is right at the end of our show. So that's the perfect cliffhanger. Oh, man. All right. So out of the that frying pan into plan. the fire. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> wow, lady. Uh, that's a big jump coming here from CSGO. <laughs> <laughs> Hi there, I'm Gorbad. Welcome to the Orcs Nest. I'm the Dungeon Master here on How We Roll, and if you'd like to follow me personally, you can do so on Twitter, at Gorbad. Check out thedmblog.com for all things Dungeon Master and Dungeons and Dragons related. And of course, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Gorbad. Also guys, don't forget to keep up with all things How We Roll. Follow us on Twitter, at How We Roll. Check out the website, www.howweroll.com. And make sure you follow us on YouTube as well. 
Cheers, guys. I'm the Dragon Spooker, and I play Femme Fatale Lilith Edenwood the Dancer. You can follow me on my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash thedragonspooker, or on Twitter at dragonspooker. You guys rock my face off, and I can't wait to see you next stream. Look, I get it. I'm not as cool as Emlyn, the tiefling warlock I play for how we roll. The dude has 20 charisma. And, well, you guys have seen how I roll. If you suffer from character is cooler than you itis, maybe we can help each other. Follow me on Twitter at ineb underscore convos. Maybe make a moderate difference. Let's do this, guys. Hello and well met. My name is Liv on How We Roll. And when I'm not Liv on How We Roll, I'm Amanda or DM Dystress on Twitter. I have an up and coming new podcast called Dead Dice Society. You'll be sure not to want to miss. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching another episode of Wrath of the Fallen. I'm Jane, and you can follow me on Twitter, the only place where it counts, at Jane on Twitch. That's with a zero, not an O. Peace, suckers. <laughs> so bad. <laughs>